just just a, a little bit about mushrooms before we take off. Uh, are mushrooms plants or animals? Fungus. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's a trick question. They're yeah. neither one. They're their own kingdom, right? How are they like plants? The root system is similar to it. Uh, similar, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and they don't run away when you come up to them, right? <laughs> right. Uh, how are they like animals? They're symbiotic. Mm, some plants are too. I saw one eat someone in a movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, right, there you go. <laughs> they're, they're like animals because they're what we call heterotrophs. Uh, most plants are, are, make their own energy from the sun. They're autotrophs, right? Mushrooms don't. You can put them in the sun all you want, and all they do is wilt and dry out, right? but they don't make any energy from the sun. They get the energy just like you and I do from consuming plants, uh, or, or at least participating in the bounty that plants give out. Now, of the mushrooms, there are three lifestyles within the mushrooms. Uh, about half of them are rotters. They live on decay matter. Most of the mushrooms you eat, the ones you buy in the store, are rotters because they can grow them. They grow them on the rotting medium. The other half are living in symbiosis with the plants. They're actually interlacing with the roots, and as if you came last night, they're exchanging nutrients. And a lot of the mushrooms that you have right here in Vancouver are these symbiotic mushrooms. We call them mycorrhizal. And then there are a few mushrooms that are just plain parasitic. They're just out to get what they can, and they kill their host. There are approximately uh, 10 to 20,000 mushrooms in BC. Nobody knows. Uh, and many of them we've never put names to. So sometimes when we're identifying, we just key them out and they're just not in the books anywhere. Uh, and sometimes we get to name them. Somebody has screwed this up really bad. <laughs> but we had sunshine a week before. We had sunshine a week before and we had rain today. So uh, you will have a wonderful fruiting of mushrooms very likely within the next three to four days because you're getting this nice heavy rain but they're really dependent on rain. And that's why some of the mushrooms you see today are going to be old mushrooms that are coming right up. For some reason, there's no mushrooms anywhere else in the woods here, but from, from there to here, there's dozens of species Most right now. In the there's about a thousand different cortinariuses. Um, and again, you'll find most people who do mushrooms a lot can only identify maybe a dozen of them reliably, and the rest of them require some sort of text and sometimes laboratory equipment to know for sure. Big variety. The distinguishing characteristic is almost all mushrooms, when they come up, the cap is up against the stem. And as they open up, there's a veil. Sometimes that veil disappears. Sometimes it remains as a ring around the mushrooms, in the case of Amanita. But, in the, but Cortinarius, the veil is, is cobwebby, it's very fine. And as it opens up, uh, it disappears, except the cobweb will fall back along the stem and uh, uh, create little reticulations here. Uh, but that's what defines it as a Cortinarius. This is a, one of the spine mushrooms. Look underneath. It's all a bunch of tiny spines. I've tried these before. I, I've never liked them. I found them too bitter but it could be just how they're cooked. Uh, yeah, they, they get huge and, and big clusters. There's so many good mushrooms that I, I tend to now just leave them, and they're one of the most beautiful mushrooms. Yeah, they are. It's lactarious, and that word comes from the word milk, and these are called milk caps, and they almost all, when they're young, bleed a sap. When you hmm. score the um, gills or cut them open, this one's too old. This one's called Lactarius deliciosus, oh. and it is good. It's excellent. I think it's oh, excellent. I, I, uh, it oh. becomes very. It can be very green on top and look excellent. Like the worst edible. Eating. Eating. Yeah. Oh, but it's a good one. Yeah. It's absolutely. You the can. name is says it all. Deliciosus.